Hey K3, Melissa here from Valley Kids. Welcome back to our series called Focus. All month long, we're talking about the word faith. Faith is trusting in what we can't see because of what we can see. Let me see if you can remember that. See if you can fill in the blank. Faith is trusting in what you can't because of what you can. Great job. After this lesson, make sure to set your alarm for 1230 to join us at Summer Sunday. Summer Sundays are our virtual small groups that happen on Zoom. When you join, you have the opportunity to connect with leaders and friends. You can find the link to the Zoom group in the details of this YouTube video. Before we jump into worship and our lesson, which by the way, will be brought to you completely by our Valley Kids large group leader, Miss Lauren, let's play a game. This game is called I Spy Emoji Challenge. And if you joined us last week, you're already familiar because we're bringing it back. Your job is to look at the picture and see if you can spy the emoji that's highlighted in the top right corner or the emoji that doesn't fit. Let's give it a try. Some of those were pretty tricky. If I don't stay focused, all those emojis begin to look the same. Before focusing on our lesson, let's sing and dance together. Count down with me. Three, two, one.
what the Athenians thought of Paul. So Paul had to think of another plan. He had to think of a way that he could tell others about Jesus and try to make them understand. So he went wandering throughout and he saw all these crazy statues and he had no idea what he was looking at until he came to one that said the statue of the unknown God. And he brought it with him to the, back to the city of Athens and he started talking to the Athenians again. You see, he talked in a way that they would understand. He used an example like the statue of the unknown God, and he put a name to that God, and that name was Jesus. So that's what Paul did. Hey, what Paul did is he focused and took a closer look at what the Athenians did know, and he told them more about what they were still learning. And that reminds me of faith. Paul had a lot of faith in what he could not see because of what he could. And what he did know was what was written in the Bible. You see, he told the Athenians about Jesus in a way that they would understand. And that brings us to our bottom line. You can help others know Jesus. And how can we do that? We can help others know Jesus by telling them in a way that they understand. Have you ever been in school and learned something that you were so excited about? Hey, this is Brook Elementary. That's where Miss Lauren went to school. I was so excited about learning about the solar systems that I went home and I told everyone. And church is kind of like school. You can tell your friends that when you come to church, you learn something new. Or maybe you like playing games at the playground. I know, I love playing games. And just like playing games at the playground, we play virtual games on Sundays, summer Sundays on Zoom, and when we're back in church. So school and the playground are kind of like church and learning about Jesus. And there's one other way that I remember it, and that's going to the pool. You see, when we go to the pool and we do a big cannonball into the deep end, that's another way we can remember that when we're at church and we make Jesus the leader and forgiver of our lives, we get baptized and we get immersed underwater. So using examples that your friends know about, they'll want to learn more about Jesus. And that's our bottom line. You can help others know more about Jesus. And that's my challenge for you this week. Tell your friends, your family, the good news that Jesus is a gift for everyone. And you can help others know more just like Paul. So let's pray together before we end. Let's close our eyes, fold our hands, and repeat after me. Dear God, help us show others the good news of Jesus. You know, Miss Lauren's message really helps me understand how important it is to talk to our friends about our faith in a way they can understand. Actually, that's why I love CCD Valley Kids being on YouTube. Sharing this video and our YouTube channel with a friend is a great way to tell others about Jesus. You can even share a favorite song from church to tell others about Jesus or invite them to summer Sundays with you. In fact, if you invite a friend to join you for summer Sunday, and they do, we'll reward you by giving you free Dairy Queen. Remember, you can find the link to the Zoom group in the description of this YouTube video. Before we head out, let's practice this month's memory verse. It's from Ephesians 2, 8, and says this, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It's God's gift. Let's try it again. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It's God's gift. Remember, you can tell others about Jesus. 
focus on that and give it a try this week. Stay connected, everyone. We'll see you real soon.